everybody, old man Caroline. Been a crazy busy day, but happy Tuesday. I'm just jumping on just to talk some randomness and talk about motivation. So I had a nice chat with my sister Betty and we were talking about her weight loss journey. My sister Betty ended up going with bariatric surgery and it was very successful for her. I'm pretty sure she lost probably about 100, 150 pounds. But she's now to the state where she's kind of fighting to keep the weight off. And I asked her, I said, when you decided to get bariatric surgery, what was the main reason for that? And she had told me the main reason that she got that is she had a daughter that was in high school and she realized how often her daughter was made fun of for her her weight and she said she got tired of her daughter having to defend her so I was like wow I don't think I really realized that that was the whole reason why my sister Betty t did that and I was like well that's great so I go so when you got halfway through your journey what was the reason why you decided to start going to the gym and working out and my sister Betty said well, she just started feeling better about herself, started feeling confident. So that kind of spurred her on. She enjoyed being able to get into clothes. She's never been able to get in clothes. She felt beautiful. And she just really did it because she wanted a good physique. So that is the reason why she kept going. And it opened a lot of doors for her. Like she was she was starting to go to work and getting more social. So a lot Lot of it was about confidence so the reason why she continued her journey was for confidence and then right now she's struggling you know she teeters uh, about 15 20 pounds and she's struggling to get back down on the lower end of that little teeter she's got a little ladder she's got and I said well what is your why and we really sat and talked about it and as we talked about this and how I asked her I realized that our whys of why we are on our fitness journey, weight loss journey, health journey change. It always changes and we need to make sure we go back and evaluate why we're continuing on going and even why maybe we stalled out because maybe we stalled out because we reached that why original why goal and then maybe we need to find a new why and why we want to continue why we want to get healthier what are those goals so I'm just telling you our why's change so maybe reevaluate your why today because it may be different than what your why was for starting the whole journey it changes motivation changes so we need to dig into ourselves and find out why we are doing it and what is going to motivate us to continue getting healthy and fit all right i'll talk to you later bye